two marching bands, three jazz combos, 33 cheerleaders, 75 pom-pom girls, 20,000 balloons, and 82,000 fans welcome the New Orleans Saints into the National Football League. Rookie John Gilliam made it a day to remember. On the opening kickoff of the Saints' opening game, he raced 95 yards to a touchdown. Into the eighth wonder of the world burst the wonderful world of pro football. A national television audience watched the season opening renewal of one of sports' most intense rivalries, the Houston Oilers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. He who made a splashy debut was defensive back Alvin Wyatt, number 41. He returned two punts, 63 and 72 yards. In Pittsburgh's brand new Three Rivers Stadium, the Steelers preseason miracle man Terry Bradshaw, number 12, suddenly became just another rookie quarterback. The poise and precision of a brilliant preseason was shattered by a persistent Houston defense. Linebacker Ron Pritchard, number 58, intercepted one of Bradshaw's passes and the Oilers offense turned it into a touchdown. 1971, the Bears have a new home site for the first time in over half a century. It has all the splendor and spectacle of ancient Rome. Soldier Field on Chicago's lakefront. The combat arena for the modern gladiators of the Chicago Bears. Their new stadium is in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And it's a far cry from last season when they were tenants in Harvard's inadequate football arena. Their new name is the New England Patriots. And it's not such a far cry from their old name, the Boston Patriots. But it's symbolic of the fact that they're thinking bigger now. And most of their thinking evolves around Jim Plunkett, their rookie quarterback and number one draft pick. Veteran Stadium. The glistening new home of the Eagles was an optimistic sight for Philadelphia fans as 1971 began. This is Candlestick Park, and last week before the Rams 49ers game, there were some strange things happening. Howard recovered and scored for the Rams. In Dallas, Texas Stadium became pro football's newest home and 65,000 Texans came to see if their Cowboys could correct their erratic path to a championship. He's coursing around the Patriot flanks and he cut a jagged path to daylight. While Thomas' 56-yard touchdown provided the impetus, embedded in the flatlands of Kansas, Arrowhead Stadium stands as a monument to the rich history of the Kansas City Chiefs. Filled to the brim with 80,000 diehards and oozing with pump, the stadium was ready for the Chiefs' revenge game with the Miami Dolphins. Finally, heady Bob Greasy rolled right and tossed a touchdown to recently acquired Marlon Briscoe. Dwarfed by the dizzying proportions of the Buffalo Bills' new ball yard, the fans came to Rich Stadium for the very first time in the regular season to see their toughened up Bills tangle with Al Woodall and the New York Jets. Points was good enough as the defense shut out New York until late in the last quarter when Al Woodall, subbing for the injured Joe Namath, hit Jerome Barkham on a play that many Jet fans would have rather done without as Woodall had to be helped from the field after a 9-7 defeat by the Buffalo Bills. As if a mountainous peak, the white roof of the New Orleans Dome stands 27 stories at its summit. 
at a cost of $163 million, or about 15 times. City of over 97,000, the Superdome also boasts its own fast food company that keeps 40 computerized hot dog stands serving up a variety of indigenous delights. Out in Michigan, another stadium was beckoning thousands under its domed expanses to witness the Detroit Lions christen their new field with victory. Lion quarterback Bill Munson got Detroit on the board with a flip to number 88, Charlie Sanders. Opening day, the team participated in another first, the inaugural for Seattle in the Kingdom. Jim Otis and Terry Metcalf each rushed for more than 100 yards as the Big Red amassed over 450 yards total offense. But the explosion was needed as the Seahawks put plenty of points on the board themselves. The outcome was in doubt up to the final play, but the Cardinals had victory number one, 30 to 24. There's no mystery about San Diego's offense. Ricky Young led a winning assault with this 46-yard touchdown as the Chargers won their second straight 23 to nothing. There were some bright spots in this dismal first half of the season, however. One came in the fifth week when the new stadium was opened before a record 76,000 fans who witnessed a dazzling aerial duel between the Giants and Dallas Cowboys. 